Isabel here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, oh my lord, buckle up, okay? This is an emblem I've never touched on in regards to this channel, but we are finally diving into a highly requested emblem called I Am Academy. So we're gonna be diving into it today. Stay tuned because I'm absolutely gonna be talking about I Am Academy way more. I'm just very excited to finally be getting started with this video. Before we hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below so you'll be notified of every single video I post. Now without further ado, let's get going. Let's go. So today we actually have two things. We're gonna be talking about the company briefly and then we're gonna be doing a reactionary video to a massive leader in the company. She's giving her own testimonial story and experience. So again, it's a great introduction to this company and there, there's a lot that I have to talk about. However, before we hop into today's video, I wanted to talk about something that Something smells good. So today we're gonna to be talking about Dossier. So if you guys don't know, Dossier is a incredible brand that actually creates high quality luxury perfumes, but for an affordable price. So most perfumes, as I've come to realize, are very, very expensive. Can range from $60 or even to $200, $300. Now you don't have to worry about the price. You can buy high quality fragrances without having to spend ridiculous amounts of money. So I'm gonna be talking about three scents that I literally have been obsessed with today that they wanted to send me to try. This first one is my more professional scent that we're gonna go with. This is called the Ambry Vanilla. Now, this one is literally incredible. And I smell it. I honestly think this is exactly something that I would personally wear to a business meeting. So now with this next scent that I love, this is a fruity brown sugar. So this is a little bit more of a stronger scent that has bergamot raspberry. It does have a really great sweetness to it. So if you want more of a sweet smell, I recommend it. This I would honestly pick as like a first date scent. It's just, it's giving more of a sugary vibe compared to this Ambry where it's a little bit more warm. Last but not least, my current all-time favorite Favorite. This is actually called Ambery Saffron. This is a duplicate of, and when I tell you this is an exact smell of the Baccarat Rouge, I totally mean it. This is again something that I would give like, it feels like a summery scent giving me luxurious shopping day. This is giving me walking into a high end hotel. And Dossier has amazing deals right now where if you want, you can purchase a perfume, try it. And what's even better is there's literally no risk with it. So if you try a perfume and maybe you just aren't feeling it, that's totally okay because all you have to do is send it back for free. They literally pay the shipping. You don't have to worry about anything, which again is a phenomenal deal. They have a discount code for 10% off Isabella Lanter 10 and you guys can go and use that. But what's even better is they also have a welcome discount, which is 20% off. You can get up to 30% off of your entire purchase with this welcome offer. It's an amazing deal. You're saving so much money. You're getting incredible scents. What's even better is Dossier also has this new reward system that literally lets you earn store credits. So that way whenever they release new scents, which they do very frequently, you are able to get store credit with every purchase. So all you have to do is click catch while you are purchasing your perfume and you earn a $10 sign on bonus. So again, you are literally getting more and more benefits and you can try out their perfumes. Also, they have a really amazing deal where if you don't want to just buy one of the perfumes I mentioned, maybe you want to buy two or three, you guys get more and more discounts the more perfumes that you buy. I'm so thankful for Dossier and I, I'm obsessed. Thank you so much to Dossier for making me smell absolutely heavenly and now let's get into it. I'm Academy is essentially a 4X kind of cryptocurrency multi-level marketing company. So from what I was able to briefly understand with I Am Academy, because again, it is kind of difficult to learn. I Am Academy is very, very similar to iGenius. So if you guys don't know, iGenius, I've talked about them several times. iGenius is a educational platform to teach you how to trade and grow and just be an insanely smart individual, apparently, according to cryptocurrency and investments. However, what we've come to realize with iGenius is iGenius sells and markets off a concept of being an educational tool where we have come to see that most people are essentially not selling the educational tool, but trying to recruit people onto the team. They're marketing off things that you can learn from anywhere for free, from YouTube, other platforms, etc. I Am Academy is essentially trying to pull the same thing. So let's actually read into a little bit of this information that's on their website. So weekly residual income. I Am Mastery Academy is the first company in the industry to introduce a powerful program that pays you a weekly residual income. By achieving the various ranks in this I Am Academy, we guarantee you a res residual check that hits your bank account each and every week. This pays anywhere from $37.50 per week to $125,000 per week, depending on your rank. If you are a platinum 50, you can earn up to $150 per month, or again, $37.50 per week. But if you are a platinum 600, you can earn up to $600 per month or $150 per week. Then the higher you go, the rank, the more money you can make per week. I have included a compensation plan chart above explaining the differences in levels of the commissions. So we're actually gonna be looking at this compensation plan. This is again, a multi 
of a marketing company. Statistically and factually, MLMs are not going to make you money. What we see with most MLMs is the dependency on recruitment and putting people into the system. So let's look right over here. This is a, this is absolutely insane. So first of all, just from the very, very look of this, they mention on the side how if you have certain people on your team, that is when you hit certain levels of income. What we can conclude from this is according to this, you are going to need qualified subscribers or people underneath you in order to make this type of income. Platinum 600, you need to have qualified group volume of $1,740, qualified subscribers, 12, weekly residual is $150. Now notice for the first several ranks, the weekly pay is actually very significantly low. And if you were putting a lot of effort, for example, for this rank, which is Platinum 2000, where you have 75 subscribers, wouldn't you expect to get a little bit more than $500 a week. So right now we do have the illusion that this is a pyramid scheme. I personally have that belief and I will stick with that. So what we're actually going to do now is be reacting to a top leader and what she has to say about this company. Again, this is a great introduction to talking about I am Academy. So let's look into this video that was actually sent to me from a top leader. Hey, Instagram family. It has been a hot minute. I wanted to jump on. I've been getting a ton of questions. Of course, I've been posting about day trading, crypto, uh, earning money online. Uh, you know, just basically creating multiple streams of income. And I've been getting a ton of questions about how people can do that when they're already working full-time jobs, their parents, they're, you know, got all these other commitments and how I was able to go from a broke homeless single mom, right, to, you know, a seven-figure entrepreneur. So I thought I'd go over some basic stuff today. Um, and I'm talking basics, like where do you start? I feel like, you know, when you're, when you're not sure where to start, then, you know, a confused mind does nothing, right? Um, I'm going to start off by saying when I made the decision that I was sick and tired of being sick and tired, that really was the beginning of the journey. So you have to ask yourself, how sick and tired are you? Are you guys ready to do something different, right? Are you okay, so right now we are actually looking at a top leader that I can see who is somebody who has a lot of power. I've personally seen her Instagram and she has a big influence. She's been on the stages. She has had a major hand in I Am Academy from what I can see. So she's talking about, well, if you are someone that is tired of your life, you're not making enough money, you need to make that decision of are you going to change something? Well, I can partially understand if you are trying to encourage someone to make a change in their life so that way they can maybe have a little bit less stress. I feel like a lot of that is very insensitive though to our time. Absolutely. Because we currently live in a world where everything is very expensive. Some things are a little bit more difficult to afford, but trying to push this mentality of, oh, if you want change, then you need to come on, you need to learn. And hi, I went from a homeless mom to now I'm doing well. So she's trying to inch in this conversation so far of, Hi, are you struggling? Okay, great. Now you need to make this decision and pretty much use the platform that I use because I will make money because I made money off of it. However, she will make more money off of you trying it now, which is absolutely insane. And it's going to benefit her. Are you sick and tired? There's three types of money. There's, you know, not enough money, just enough money and more than enough money. Now I was in the not enough money category and I had found myself, you know, broke, homeless, single mom, living in a woman's shelter, trying to figure out what to do next. I was terrible at being an employee. I didn't want to work for somebody else. I want to be able to be with my daughter. So I started my own businesses. The problem with that, you guys, was that the overhead and the bills were crazy. I ended up growing two companies to 44 employees with 65,000 a month in overhead before I made a dime. Talk about stress. Like I was stressed right out. So here I am trying to get ahead, but in reality, what I'm really doing is sinking my ship faster than I can even imagine. I was pastoring a church at the, at the same time and I have an inner city youth ministry. We've rescued like, I don't even know, 6,500 women out of slavery, out of, you know, in India. Uh, we've, our team last year fed 75,000 people, so that's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, point being, I was really stuck and maybe you're there too. Maybe you know you need to do something different. You know you need to uh, create multiple streams of income. You need to have money that you make online, not from you know a job or even a business because things have really changed. The marketplace is changing, everything is changing. And so here I was, you know, just maybe where you are now, trying to figure out, okay, what do I need to do to move the needle and actually get more money? So I started looking around and interestingly enough, right about that time I was presented with network marketing, which was, you know, I didn't really know anything about it. So I actually said, yes, site, site on, like literally, I looked at the video and I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? 
<clears throat> I did not. She was talking about how she was struggling financially and something I want to make sure I'm very clear on. I always want to be clear with this. I am not hating on her experience or her story. Her story is valid. I am sure she went through a lot and I would never ever wish that on anyone. Now let's kind of look into what she's talking about because if we look at the compensation plan, for example, and let's say we want to make an additional $600 a month. Okay, cool, great. $600 a month. If you actually have the second rank, it is $600 a month. That's what you can make, which, okay, pretty good. However, if you do that, make that, that doesn't include taxes because you are going to have to pay taxes on that income. So maybe a guesstimate, take away 15% of that because you are a independent contractor. Then you move on though. You have to have 12 subscribers or from what I'm getting, 12 people on the team. That is a lot of work and effort to get that many people on a downline just for $600. And that's also, if we think about it, how much effort and trainees you're going to have to sit on, people you're going to have to train, how many messages you're going to have to send out to people. All of these things are going to compile and take insane hours of work. However, if maybe you took on a different part-time job, maybe if you had a small business, you could potentially get that same amount of money without having to keep track of additional people on a downline, cold messaging, etc. In a way where you don't have to cold message and hunt down people just for you to make that paycheck. I don't know how to do it. I did not know how to build a brand online. I did not know how to recruit. I did not know how to close. I did not know duplication. I didn't speak on stages. I spoke at church, but it's a little bit different you know, than getting on stage in front of like 12 or 15,000 people. And so I decided that I was gonna learn it. I just decided if there was other people doing six and seven figures from home, then I could do it too. And maybe that's a decision you need to make. Maybe you are at that place where you've been dabbling or thinking about dabbling or possibly, you know, one day building a business um, from home or from your phone. I'm talking to people every day in my DMs that are like, <clears throat> I pay too much in taxes. I'm like, well, why are you doing that? Get a home-based business and you have all kinds of write-offs. They're you know, I don't have any time. Well, why are you doing that? Like what, when, when will you have enough time if you keep doing what you're doing, right? Like okay. we have, again, a very privileged person now who completely lost touch with reality, talking about, well, just get a home-based business and then you can have all these write-offs. The IRS will not always allow you to have certain write-offs if you're not even actually making good money. If it's considered a hobby, there are gonna be some things you won't be able to write off or do that won't, like it won't allow you to do that. Like you're gonna get flagged for that. So again, that's very dangerous to encourage. Oh, if you don't have enough time, well, when are you gonna have enough time? That's very privileged coming from someone now who is able to profit and do well off of a team from what I can see versus other people who are probably in the position that she was in before struggling. Maybe they have children. Maybe they are trying to get through school. There's many things where they could be literally draining themselves trying to get by and you're wanting them to add more time. This is not appropriate whatsoever. And I don't mean to sound harsh guys, but like when I had no time, like two businesses, 44 employees, pastoring a church, three foster kids, my own kid, single mom, like, dude, I get it. No time. But the reality was, how long did I want to stay in the no time zone for, right? It's like the friend zone. How long do you want to stay there for? So I started asking myself these hard questions, and maybe those are questions that you need to ask yourself too. So what I did was I actually carved time out my schedule. I really did not have it, you guys. I had to miss some of my daughter's stuff. Not a lot of it, but enough of it to like actually get some traction. I started working at night, which I'd never done before because I would get home at you know eight or nine at night, and I was exhausted. Well, what I did instead was I started doing, I call it the mummy cracks, like doing business in the mummy cracks. So when I was driving to school, waiting in the parking lot, I would make phone calls. When I was driving my daughter to dance, I would make phone calls. I recruited everywhere I went. I made friends. I just expanded my network and I decided that I was going to change my life. I printed off the compensation plan and I got serious just like I would with anything else. Nothing's changed for me, right? If I was going to launch anything, I do it the same way. I make a decision. I decide what I'm going to do. I look around at who's doing it successfully. I get super uber coachable. I say, what do you do? Put me in coach. They tell me what to do. I go do it. I get the money. Like it's not that. Oh, she's talking as if this is so easy. I I, this is gross. First of all, let's talk about the fact that she said she was recruiting, messaging, and doing everything and taking advantage every moment. Again, maybe if you are a small business owner and you're on your phone marketing and doing things like that, that's fine. This is a business about recruiting people from what we can see. She's clearly stating that right now. The fact that that was her main focus as well. She's not even saying, hi, would you like to buy into the services of I Am Academy? Would you just join? She's talking about the joining aspect and the fact that she was brand new into this company and was being encouraged to just recruit people even though she had no portfolio built up of how this company was working for her no actual true experience with running this no true experience with trading anyone nothing that is alarming and the way that she's explaining this 
is depicting a pyramid scheme. While we're actually on this subject as well, talking about pricing, I want to highlight some things in regards to IM Academy real quickly so you guys know how expensive this is. This is very much like iGenius. So on this Forex Academy website, this says pricing and packages. Right out the gates, they have recommendations for you if you want to join. So it says, we recommend starting with the Platinum Starter Kit and the Platinum Monthly Plan. It take in all of the basic, intermediate, and advanced training as well as go lives where you decide to advance your knowledge further. You could upgrade to the Elite Monthly. So they say Platinum Starter. Let's look at the cost. Starter Packs. Starter Packs are your entry into I Am Academy. Your first 30 days are included in the Starter Kit cost. You will also need to select a monthly plan for your recurring membership. So the Platinum Starter Pack is $225. You can do the Elite Starter Pack, which is $325. Where are the monthly plans? Platinum Monthly is $174. Elite Monthly is $270. Wow. Uh, let's do some math here. Let's, let's do some guesstimates and estimates because I want you guys to know how insane this is and how much you're going to have to make just to break even, just to break even. So just to even remotely break even in income and make a little, a little bit of a profit. So let's say you do $225 at first and it also covers the first 30 days. You do $174.95, which is the monthly cost, times that by 11. So that's $1,924.45, okay? Add in the $225. That gives you $2,149 that year that you will have to spend if you're in it for an entire year to break even. Let's run with that as well, because I, I want to do the math on this. Let's say you make $37.50 every single week. That's $150 possibly every single month. Okay, fine. Times that by 12, that's $1,800. You're gonna have taxes taken out of that. Take 15% out of that, $1,800 minus $270 equals $1,530 minus the $2,149.45. That would be everything that you would pay in an entire year for monthly fees and the starter kit. You come out in the negative of $619.45. You see what I'm saying? This is why this company is a problem. But again, how come somebody who is claiming this is easy, this is going to help you, just trust me on this, is preying on people who will not make this, who will be in the negative, just like I showed you. And yes, those are guesstimate numbers, but this is alarming. Like it's not that hard, but what we do instead, right? Like what I, you know, in the beginning, I remember before I made this final decision that I was going to change my life, I joined four or five network marketing companies and never made any money because why? Well, I didn't want to offend my friends or I didn't want to phone people or I had this or I had that blah, blah, blah. The reality was I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready. So how do you get ready? You decide and you kill all doubt, right? Welcome guys. You kill all doubt. So if you guys think about, you know, where you are in your businesses, maybe you're an affiliate marketer, maybe you're a coach, consultant, network marketer, right? We just opened the lab university, which is the launch like a boss university where we teach all of those things because I didn't have anywhere to learn. You see, when I got started, nobody, like I learned network marketing, traditional network marketing, which thank God I did. If you don't know how to pick up a phone and make a phone call and close a deal, you need to learn. Like that's not even, that skill set should be taught in kindergarten. If you can't pick up the phone, make a sale, get the credit card and launch that person, that needs to be taught in kindergarten. If you can't do that. Wow. So now like one, I do not like her demeanor with this. I feel like it's very condescending. It's giving me the vibe of, well, you're stupid if you don't do this. And I, I don't like that whatsoever, but trying to say, well, if you aren't capable of recruiting someone and making them pay you money to be a part of the system, then you're the problem is very problematic to me. And this isn't even, to me, this isn't even essentially marketing off just using the services as a whole. To me, this is about recruitment. I I'm just very alarmed by someone that came from nothing and has struggled and now is preying on those same people that are struggling and have nothing and pretty much being like, well, you need to do this and you need to learn this and you need to make that decision. When clearly from the numbers that we've done, the estimates that we've created and statistics, it will not happen for anyone. But again, somebody like her who maybe have thousands and thousands of people that are underneath her, she's going to benefit off of that. So she is essentially, in my opinion, benefiting off of teaching you that this is fine, that this this will change your life. You need to start learning now. That is the basis of any good, um, you know, employee even, or owning your own business. You have to be able to make sales. So what you want to do is you want to like identify those skill sets that you really need to build. I'm going to help you out right now because I think that there's a few skills, uh, skill sets that you need to uh, uh, learn. And this is funny when people are like, well, I don't really want to pay for training. I'm like, what? So let me get this straight. You'll go to school to get a bachelor of, I don't know, English that you can't do anything with and spend, I don't know, 30 grand doing it, but you won't pay $400 to learn how to recruit. I'm 
confused. That's so gross. Can't even go, you can't even use that. <laughs> what? Yes, you can use that degree. What? What? What in the world? For someone so smart and educated, she sure is fine with talking on other people and their education. Yes, college is very expensive. It shouldn't be that expensive at all. However, I'm very proud of my degree because it does have value. It gave me education. It's very important. Also, the chances of getting a good paying job once you graduate are higher than a multi-level marketing company. Also, why are you saying you need to be trained to recruit? Is that all you're taught? You're not taught sales, marketing, anything. It's just recruiting. Whereas with a degree, you're actually taught multiple things. I was taught many things for my degree in regards to business. So again, if you're proud that all you get trained on is recruiting, that is a pyramid scheme. Right? So you guys understand education changes situations, right? I pay for training education. I trade with live traders, like real educators that are showing me how to trade crypto, how to build a portfolio, right? We just had a women's event. If you're not in the free group, you need to get in there. We just had a women's event, an hour long free education on how to build a crypto uh, portfolio, like the basics, right? Like, cause if you don't know much about crypto, it can be overwhelming, but you know, so I pay for that education. I paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn how to become a professional network marketer. I paid even more money to learn online marketing and affiliate marketing, right? So how seriously are you taking your education? How seriously are you taking your education? Are you actively engaged in learning? Listen, if you stop learning after high school, shame on you. You have a very powerful mind. You are born for greatness. You are a co-creator. Everything you have in your life right now, you put there. You did that, right? You made those choices, even the bad ones, right? Uh, Greg always says, you know, you're born looking like your parents, you die looking like your choices. So we have to learn how to build more than enough money. So there's really only a couple ways to do this. Number one, you have to learn to make more money, right? The average job is not going to get it done. How many of you would agree that the average job is going to end you up broke? Like <laughs> You're just going to end up like broke. <laughs> so okay, I'm not saying every job is good. I'm not saying every job is great. I'm not saying every job is going to help you get out of anything, okay? I know that. However, which one are we going to go with? The nine to five that is legally required to pay you or the additional job that you get that is legally required to pay you or the small business that actually can genuinely bring you great profit versus the multi-level marketing company where literally almost 100% of participants make nothing and the top small percentage makes everything off of the downline. So, um, you know, that's that's how it is. Like, it, and I'm sorry about that, but if you haven't read Cashflow Quadrant, go read it, right? So, you know, you're going to end up not down the road you want to go. So we have to create multiple streams of income. What does that mean? It means that selling something on the side is a great way to go. Being a coach or a consultant on something that you're an expert at is another good way to go. There are lots, you can be an affiliate marketer for a product that already exists, right? Like I have affiliate marketing um, connections to different companies, products that I love. When I recommend them, I get paid. Network marketing, my opinion, is probably the most powerful because you actually get leveraged income, meaning that, you know, we have a team of like 5,000 people now. We started a company two years ago. Greg and I had 5,000 people. So she's making, according to the compensation plan, she is making $25,000 a week. Oh my God. I've been diligently uh, working to build that. We're in like 17 countries. It's amazing. If you guys don't know how to start a network marketing company, call me. I will help you launch. Like I will literally DM me and I will walk you through the process. And I don't, you know, your excuses aren't going to stop me. Coach Melanie over here. Um, people call me because they want results. So just know that you can actually build a uh, network marketing affiliate. Uh, if you want to learn how to be a coach, I can show you how to do that. But the reality is you need multiple streams of income. So how are you going to do that? Well, number one, you need to make a decision. Number two, you need to carve out time. Number three, you need to stay committed until it's done. Now this is not easy. Most people get started, they get excited and then they quit when it doesn't go their way. I'm going to try for 90 days. And if I don't get the result, right, then I'm going to quit. I'm going to get married. And if, I, if it's not the way I want in three years, I'm going to quit. I'm going to start a diet. If it's not the way I want, in two days, I'm gonna quit, right? I've been going to the gym for three weeks and I'm like, where's my results? Okay, I hate this analogy and I feel like this is kind of, this has been a thought process for a long time that quitting is always negative or derogatory. Why can't we quit? Like this, in general, I think the mentality of don't quit can be toxic to a point. If you're pushing people to not quit a marriage, but it's genuinely an abusive one, that is wrong. Like literally, had I followed the mentality that I thought of, of quitting is bad, quitting is bad, like I can't get out, I would be in a miserable place still. If I stayed with a job that was actually 
actually very harmful to me and I didn't quit because I held on to that mentality, then that would be bad. If you don't quit a diet because it's actually harming you, that's toxic. Like quitting is actually a very beneficial thing and I think we need to get rid of the negative stigmas with that because there, there could be bad quitting, yeah, but then we can also have quitting that's actually good for us. So I, I'm sick and tired of that. With all the things that she's mentioning, including multi-level marketing, if you're quitting something because it's harmful and not doing good for you, that's okay. That is okay. You should quit the multi-level marketing industry if you're not getting paid your worth. You should quit a job if they are treating you bad. You should do that. That is okay. So no, just sucking it up just because is not a good mentality. Please don't fall for the mentality of that. Not everything that you have to be involved in, you have to stay involved in. Um, this is really true, like I'm actually saying that. So, you know, I had to remind myself this morning, I'm like, yeah, you've been going for three weeks. What do you think is going to happen? You're going to be a size six overnight? So you guys understand that, you know, we have to carve out time in our lives and stay committed to the journey. So you have to fall in love with the process. And that's one thing that I can say that Greg and I have done really, really well. A, we stay educated. We are always taking education, right? We're gonna be going and doing a Tony Robbins event right away. We're gonna be going and doing a Joe Dispenza event right away. Um, I'm constantly reading, if you guys, if I can show you, if I move, I'm gonna lose you. But there's books all over the place. Like. I'm constantly funnel hacking. I'm constantly online learning from other people. This is why this person is unreliable to listen to. The reason being is when she says, I am constantly trying to be educated. That's fine if you state that, but consider where and how she's getting her education. She just mentioned multi-level marketing professionals, quote unquote professionals, but nobody business professional outside of anything. Like there, it's only a very specific topic. It's an information control system. People, for example, who are gonna be pushing certain mentalities that are about multi-level marketing, for example, they are gonna keep you in that system in cycle. And for her to say that she's continuously educating herself, however, very blatantly and clearly ignoring the statistics of multi-level marketing is not someone who is educated, it is someone who is putting profit and everything over the actual lives of human beings. So please do not listen to people like this and please consider where they're actually getting their information from because someone can say that they're educated. Where are they getting their information from? Where are the sources and everything? Buying courses, sharpening my skills sharpening my skills, but that's why I'm a seven figure entrepreneur. Like, what are you doing? Are you sharpening your skills? And then once you sharpen them, are you actually applying it? Are you living in your greatness? Are you living in your creative power? If you can hear the sound of my voice right now, you need to step up. Like it is time to run your life like a boss. It is time. If you don't have a planner, go get it. Links in the bio. If you need a network marketing company, links in the bio, DM me. I don't care. Like actually link is in the bio for them network marketing company. If you're not learning to trade yet, what are you doing? They're the largest financial markets in the world. The money's sitting there waiting. You need to learn how to dip your head in the bucket and take your piece. And you're that is again, such a terrible mentality. Everything that she just mentioned is not as cut and dry. See, she's discussing this entire topic as if it's cut and dry, simple, and you just have to do it. That is not the case. One, investing is not always accessible for everyone. And that is very, very privileged to act as if it is. It is not accessible and not everyone has that. Also, not everyone has extra money to invest. Not everyone even has extra money to buy additional basic expenses that come up every single month because they're breaking even with their bills. So not okay to be teaching whatsoever. This person is not speaking realistically. And but this is, the reason why I want to show you this is because this is an I am Academy leader, it's not sharing actual truth and facts and statistics and is leading with a mentality that is broken and also in a way that is going to cause a lot of harm to people because saying, oh, well, it's easy. You just need to invest. That's completely false. You know, you need to have these multiple streams of income, half them that she explained are actually not going to be beneficial to you and are completely ridiculous. Oh, well, you just need to make time. Not everyone can make time. You see, it's a very privileged mentality and it's somebody who, in my opinion, according to what I can estimate that she's making every single month, for her to make $25,000 every single week, for example, she is benefiting off of manipulating you, in my opinion. You're sitting on the sidelines, just not doing nothing. Like what? What are we doing? I don't even know what we're doing right now. So if you can hear this out of my voice, it's because I believe you've been put in my life that's what I believe. I believe that the people that are in my life are in my life for a reason. And if you can hear the sound of my voice, it's because it is time for you to level up, okay? How are you gonna level up? You have to set higher goals. You have to have higher expectations for yourself. You need to decide that the next level is yours, right? What is your next level? You guys, I've been playing small for a really long time and I've still got seven figure results. So if I can play small and get seven figure results, you can play small and get six figure results. Even if you don't believe you can, you can. So of course, my, uh, how, do, how do they say that? Income disclosure, my uh, performance doesn't equal your performance. I don't know if you're tough enough. I don't know if you're gonna work hard enough. I don't know if you're coachable. I don't know if you can follow direction. I don't know if you can see it through. I don't know if you're a whiny baby. Like, I don't know those things. But if you do, 
it is possible if you see it through, if you're coachable, if you teachable, if you stay in the game, if you actually do the thing, okay? So there's that. Now, finally, I just want to tell you guys that we are launching new teams, like literally globally launching new teams. I have been on back-to-back -back Zooms, like people are phoning me, I can't even answer my phone. So I'm looking for people in South America, North America, obviously Asia, the market's taking off there incredibly. Europe is another good one. Africa, we just had a massive event in Africa. So if you are in any of those countries and you're ready, to level hold on hold hold i need i'm not gonna curse i'm not gonna be mean all i'm gonna say though is is africa is not a country it's a continent you doorknob i oh my god that is so disrespectful asia is a continent there are not countries there are many multifaceted countries per continent please don't be disrespectful i think this is kind of telling how she doesn't clearly care where you're at or anything about the locations as long as they are benefiting off of it because if she cared she would have been very aware and pushed herself to know about the continents and about the countries and addressed it properly to me that is just expressing the fact that country continent whatever it is as long as i'm making money it's fine that but of course she's making money off of this so it's fine if you're in any of these countries dm me if you take this information and you're in another network marketing company and you apply it marketing company. educated i'm educated <laughs> i am the education to that that's a win to me that's a win to me now there's two things i want to say number one we have a free facebook group for women so i have it's called she's creating an empire if you are not in that group go to the link in the bio join the group make sure you answer the membership questions or you're not getting in that's it we do free training in there we do free uh, trading training, free social media training, free uh, online store, e-commerce training, all those things. Now, if you are not a girl and you are really wanting to learn e-commerce or trading, we also have a group that is co-ed for you. So you can either drop more information in the comments or you can DM me and I will get you in that group. That group is focused mostly on cryptocurrency, foreign exchange, uh, high frequency trading or binary options. Uh, what else do we do in there? E-commerce, like it's very much multiple streams of income from your phone. Whereas She's Creating an Empire is really about you learning to build a business brand and bank account that you love. So both of those things will get you results. Reality is you have to decide. You actually have to make the call. What are you going to do? Like, what are you going to do? Are you going to let another day go by, another week go by, another year go by and not get a different result? I didn't get to where I am today by watching days go by. That's not how it happened. I got here because I decided that that was enough was enough. If, if someone else can make a hundred thousand dollars a year or a hundred thousand dollars a month or a hundred thousand dollars whatever then i can too and if i can do it you can too so and that was enough so what did we learn today guys earned that the money potential in i am academy is not very good we have an example of what a leader is how she's going to represent things etc talked about the chances of making money you name it the point is just for the introduction of this company alone please stay away this is absolutely terrifying in my opinion i would not waste my time on this company but stay tuned because we are going to be diving into it a little bit more but wow this is this is rough thank you so much to today's sponsor for everything and i will see you all in the next video Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.